we have brought to you white paper analysis of a new healthcare ICO well and I have already downloaded their white paper from the website I have gone through it a couple of times and I have also made my notes so I will try to summarize the key and important details in the white paper so let's get started right so well is a blockchain platform for high quality healthcare and they primarily want to address the problems like cross border payments data accessibility and different payment risks one of the independent report about chinese healthcare shows that the healthcare spending during 2014 itself was 520 Uh, billion and this is expected to grow to 2.35 trillion US dollars in 2035 imagine how healthy we are and what we are heading to and um, therefore we must have a right solution for our healthcare needs there where the well technology is designing a platform which will not just help patients but also to the doctors to the pharma companies to the insurance companies and society as a whole let's have a look to what are the problems that well solutions like to address the very first problem is access to medical services either they are very expensive or physically inaccessible due to maybe various factors like travel required or bureaucratic complexities and many a times due to not having the efficient insurance uh, we do not get the right services so well would like to provide healthcare services around the clock and it would not just aggregate but also develop medical professionals this would greatly help for a reasons and um, they expect that the whole spending can be reduced by 30% the next problem is the cross border payments and I believe you you also must have come across this um uh, many countries have laws which actually prevent foreign payments due to various reasons I mean you can't blame them there could be genuine reasons well allows users to send and receive payments in just minutes by paying a fraction of the total meaning you have to pay a transaction fee okay the next problem is insurance verification the complicated billing requirements often lead to delay or many a times even denial of an insurance claim well solution would eliminate common issues which would allow transferring the funds into the escrow accounts almost immediately access to high quality care is another problem you wouldn't disagree that most of the times uh, we just get a few minutes with a healthcare specialist and you would agree that it doesn't help us uh, to be able to tell the problem nor the neither the specialist or the doctor will be able to diagnose and um, provide the the right treatment well removes these barriers by connecting patients and uh, healthcare specialists across the globe if we talk about record keeping and its security they are often kept on paper and losing it results into of course incorrect billing or non payment well will store the electronic health record into anonymized decentralized network which will make it harder for uh, the hackers or someone to be able to just uh, tamper inter- tamper it around the next problem is complexity extreme fragmentation and decentralization of healthcare the value chain is complicated which then results into excess cost for maybe just everyone well would like to address this by building a simple yet reliable full stack platform through blockchain okay let's move ahead one of the other common problem is fraud the us justice department discovered around 900 million 
dollars in false billing just in 2016 and um, the hhs inspector general released a study saying that more than 10 billion worth of improper payment occurred in 2015 if we uh, talk about well the well solution requires proof of work and time and location of actual care along with undisputed record which potentially then eliminates the the violations and uh, abuse okay let's have a look to the uh, to the last problem uh, which is about the reputation so lack of verifiable reputation leaves the opportunity to 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 cheat um, sometimes patients can cheat insurers insurer comp insurance companies and uh, many a times um, doctors can cheat by not providing the right healthcare services well network will record all transactions and use this data to build true reputation okay moving forward let's have a look to uh, wells achievement so far the founder and ceo of well um, ildar started well in 2015 when he broke his leg during snowboarding accident he had his uh, first surgery and the time he he would have got the first appointment by the time he would have got the first appointment he broke his uh, leg again oh that that's <laughs> um so um uh, i mean th that's very bad then but then he, he this resulted into um, uh, into denial from the insurance companies for paying a sum of around fifty thousand dollars because he broke his leg again you know he founded then then he decided to found well on 4th of the june 2015 and by 2017 it had the largest therapist therapist network in california on demand side well works with some of the organizations like medicare my matrix optum and century pacific well also owns a registered trademark trademark the minimum viable product the, the basically the demo version of the telemedicine platform in 2017 was tested to serve more than 40000 sessions with uh, around 110 plus doctors the remote monitoring and management solution makes the whole process seamless as patients can just wear the remote monitoring device and stay online with the specialists and then uh, this data can further be used by doctors uh, who can access the electronic health record anytime and um, based on their um, based on the details and their recommendation they can advise and prescribe medications or maybe therapy or for that matter anything else let's have a look to the business model after this i will skip some of these uh, detailed pages so how well will earn so well will charge a transaction fee and um, for for each of the transaction and they will also have ancillary services like uh, translations and uh, pharmacy orders and uh, they will also charge monthly and annual fee for connected devices like maybe using for ipad and some of the wearable devices they also charge some of the larger organizations for software implementation and customization. So that way uh, there would be patients, doctors and different partners will be connected to the well platform and they also would like to contribute to the society and um, get connected to the governmental organization and, um, uh, and different institutions. Okay, let's move forward and uh, basically this is again almost describing further how the well platform will benefit patients by providing different set of healthcare services, how it will provide um, help to doctors by providing them a platform in terms of secure and robust solutions, 
how they can connect from anywhere and provide the feedback or their uh, prescriptions and uh, also to the society how it will help by connecting to different organizations like NGO or governmental organizations. Okay, let, let's have a look to the market opportunity. So the global home healthcare market is growing very fast with a compound annual growth rate of 8% and with the trade it, it would exceed around 517 billion US dollars by 2025. So moving further, let's have a look to one of the important detail competitor analysis. So here is a chart and the comparison shows between um, taylordoc.com, Junior Doctor, Igbo, Wiki, Wipkid, Presence Learning and um, Well itself. So as you can see, Well is much better and covers vast options among the others. Okay, moving forward, I'll sp skip the details about some of the competitors analysis. And uh, here we have some of the key ideas and uh, further it has been described how well would like to address them. So then one of the point, why well tokens? What is there? The advantage is well will charge minim minimal uh, transaction which will generate revenue. As a working product, it has fast growing audience. It has global reach. It empowers charity. They can potentially connect to governmental institutions uh, and it, their business model is profitable. Moving forward, um, the well token can be used by employers, charity, um, charitable organizations. Uh, so it starts from patients paying to borrowers and then they purchase. So, it, so you can see a uh, it is kind of this platform is going to help uh, different segments. So for example, patients will pay in tokens for the medical services. Doctor will access the research base by uh, paying the token, but then they will uh, gain by having patients visit. So there are different details for each of them in, in interest of patients, doctors, insurance companies, healthcare system, charity organizations, research institutions, loan companies, pharmacies, and pharmaceutical companies. Okay, I will skip some of these pages because um, here they are trying to elaborate. One of the things they also want to build is doctor's community and um, the statement says that the community of healthcare professional has as much importance for the well network as the patient's community because they can discuss and um, they can then research and further. So furthermore, they also talk about the financial organizations and healthcare system and then different um, segments, how they will get benefited. Talking about the crowd sale campaign, initially, as soon as you get involved, you get 25% bonus and then that keeps on decreasing and eventually it will end by 15th May. You can pay in Ether, Bitcoin, BTH, LTC, and any fiat currencies of your choice. So what will happen to the tokens? Uh, the total uh, number of tokens is issued is 1.5 million. 40% is uh, reserved. 40% will be issued and 20% will be used. 20% um, will be for the team. So I'm not sure. They mention here out of 1.5 billion, uh, but they have written 1.5 million. I think it's 1.5 billion tokens. So yeah, it is actually billions. Maybe this text is not right. Anyway, so in the, for the crowd sale, um, there is 600 million tokens available. And um, like I said, uh, the distribution is for some will be reserved, some will be for team and then so on and so forth. What they will use the reserve for? So 25% will be released in first 12 months and subsequently every 12 months in four years they will release uh, all the tokens from the reserve. There are details about the Bonti program. 
and uh, the funds will be used for cost of building well platform paying the salaries sales and marketing recruitment and so on so forth including app development so let's have a quick look to the roadmap they have already achieved um, found founding it putting together the initial platform got the medical licenses and currently the white list is on and uh, furthermore they will have the crowd sell then they will um, deploy the the telehealth platform in us and then blockchain will be released by quarter 4 furthermore they will have partnership with japan korea and china and then that will go on we already briefly spoke about the team ildar was uh, the one who founded after he broke his leg he has over 20 years of experience into healthcare which is very good and um, he he has uh, uh, a lot of experience into venture capitalists as well the co-founder and chairman alex is uh, the managing partner and um, is sorry alex is the co-founder of finsight venture which focuses on fintech enterprises and he has over 15 years of experience into direct investment and uh, there are details about the other involved team members and uh, you can go through the details we also have the advisors i think after this it's mostly terms conditions and different regulations so i think that is all for today and i hope you have uh, been able to benefit yourself from this video and um, to put together another video where i will talk about their website and the crowd sale and some of the more information on the team and other details thanks a lot for listening and watching uh